Actually, this mine is my name. I am the CEO and founder of Best Choice Consult SMC Limited. With its operation, actually, its head office is in Obongi district, but we are open to operate in any part of this country, that is Uganda. Uh, we are registered with the Uganda Registration Services Bureau. Just that uh, opportunity to operate anywhere in Uganda. Yes, uh, basically to, to, to let you people know how this journey started. Best Choice Consult SMC Limited started as an idea way back in 2015 when I was working with one of the financial institutions in Uganda. Uh, and basically it, uh, it gave me a, a very, very good uh, platform to be able to think for myself. Because I saw it uh, as an opportunity that one day, one time, I needed to establish a company that will be able to serve so many businesses in, in the country. But the biggest inspiration uh, started all along from uh, my father's business. It was just like an inspiration. Actually, the collapse of my father's business brought in a lot of energy in me to see that I need to put something right such that uh, the legacy can be, uh, I need to, uh, basically I needed to revive that uh, lost glory, bring it back, but in a better way. Of course, I just to mention the business name, and my name is this Finance Science Enterprises. Really, it was a big story, right? You know, when the business collapses and realize the gaps, and those are things which you could easily fix. Uh, and I just realized that I needed to put things right. But this time, I, I, I decided to, to put it in a situation where I needed to offer both products and services. Yeah. And seriously, in business, I started this as a, a small enterprise. This time, I started selling something more At the time, I just started as a small brand. It was just a small thing which I started as this choice fashion, meaning I was just dealing in second hand clothes. I'll buy from a window market that is in Kampala. Then from there, I got to realize that I needed to introduce it in services. So, time came, of course, I had to to quit, I had to leave uh, doing other works in Kampala because after working for over seven years. In the private sector, I realized that I also needed to put something in my own. Although I was still open to, to work with any other company organization but as long as the opportunity is available. So really, that is my biggest inspiration and uh, how the whole thing started. It started just as simple as that, uh, like uh, selling second hand clothes. But as I speak now, this choice consult offers various services, both business consultancy and art services. With business consultancies, we do uh, executive business coaching and counseling. We support uh, circles and uh, VSLs, we train in them. We actually do business plans and business proposals for businesses that are, or for persons or businesses that are in need. And there's so many. Basically, if I'm to summarize, in the best choice concept, we do a lot of uh, capacity building for other businesses, which can which are micro, those are small businesses, media, some small and medium enterprises, breaking it down to retail, wholesale, and and uh, yeah, and and uh, probably um, large businesses that are yet to be established in the moment, which at the moment is not there because of uh, challenges that are really pending and uh, are yet to be addressed. Say, uh, electricity, lack of power, which which, which we can't attract a lot of such, actual, such businesses. But we pray all that is resolved, such that we can have that opportunity in Obongi and in some other parts of the CLB, like uh, Madisa region and uh, Westline, Northern Uganda and Uganda at large. Yeah, so uh, just to hint on uh, Best Choice Consult does not only offer uh, business consultancy services, only we also have art services where we can do painting, works, we actually do painting and branding, 
manners, we actually know and make signposts for businesses and even individuals that are around it. They are not only from the personal premises. Yeah, we are not limited to that. But but we, we stand out in our business position basically because we, we, we much give to our community because we, we tend to identify ourselves with the community and uh, that gives us the platform of relating with them well and that's why our business is And basically I just want to hint on a few things. Yeah, it's time will come when we shall share a lot. But for now I'll just say a few things. Yeah, with time also we will be sharing our flyers, documents and uh, actually that so that you get to learn more about best choice concept SM Limited. Due to limited time, I may not be able to proceed with a lot of things, but I want to break this to so many people in Obongi, outside of Obongi, so many potential investors that there is a lot of opportunity in Obongi where we can make money. One of the areas that I'm saying that we really need to invest in is agro processing. Yeah, so that is an area where it is need to. A lot of cassava has been produced in Obongi, but uh, most of it is raw and uh, it is not really converted so much. Not like, so much but is added to it. Apart from uh, just being a flag, I understand much can be done. A lot can be done about it. Yeah, But still, not so many people are doing it. But we, we believe when the issue of power is addressed, it will support that opportunity so much. However, it, it doesn't really need that the, the power that we're waiting from the government. We, we really have other alternative sources of power, like generator and the solar energy. So we can exploit opportunities using that. The education sector is very valid. You really realize that even we still have very few schools that are up to standard. So anyone who is willing and is ready to invest in education, that one is, is, is just a sure thing because just put it in the right position, have the facilities required, bring in the right, uh, bring in the right uh, human resource, then there we are good to go. Then uh, there are small, small businesses that people ignore, but those are the businesses that make a lot of money. I, I really move around town and I see you know, people, actually a number of people making chips, chicken and chips in the bone, not so many. I've not seen someone frying, uh, okay, fish is there, but it is not spiced up. At least we need to have chip, uh, fish with some bit of uh, chips and uh, other things, and it should be something which is uh, consistent. Because uh, I understand how we uh, do sell uh, deep fried uh, fish at the landing site, but we realize in the evening hours, people come from outside. When they come to Bongi, they don't get such. So even uh, they get those feedback. So I feel if someone really puts, uh, puts up a business along that line and is consistent, they can really assure that the person will be able to make money. Then the other thing is... Uh, Trying as much as possible to 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 spice up this Rolex 